Hi, everyone. My name is Olivia Gregory, and I'm the middle school dean here at Westminster Catawba Christian School. Joining me today for our webinar are Joe Zambrano, upper school principal, and Ashley Sapp, college and career counselor. The purpose of these mini webinars is to answer some questions for rising ninth graders and their families regarding high school here at WCCS. The question that we're going to tackle in this webinar is how does WCCS help students transition from middle school to high school? And as a parent of four children um, walking through my husband's and my kids through this transition four times now, it is definitely a big jump from middle school to high school, not just academically, but socially, emotionally. So I love that we're tackling this question today. Joe, why don't you take the lead on it? Well, as you know, a lot of students have shared that they have a lot of anxiety leaving their middle school classes and going into the high school. Some have said they felt alone. Uh, they worry about connection. Uh, a lot of students are worried about increased rigor. Uh, you know, what happens when I become independent? Can I be independent? Well, all these questions are asked by a lot of great high school students across the, the country as they go from eighth to ninth. And we want to talk about the layered approach we do to, to address the issues. First up is the on a broad level, we have every teacher, every coach, every staff member knows that the story matters. Every student matters. And so if we know each story, um, we know what their, their strengths are, we know where their weaknesses are, and we are prepared for these students as they come up. And our eighth grade teachers are talking to the ninth grade teachers, and we sit down and we have those meetings before the beginning of the year saying, hey, this is what the student will need. This is what they're gonna be really good at. This is, how they, this is how they remember well. This is how they're really good at processing. That helps. Uh, the other one is we have systems in, in place. Uh, we always have a retreat at the beginning of the year. Earlier, we showed a little picture of the whitewater. Well, before the whitewater rafting occurs, there's team building. And we can do that from a overnight retreat, uh, Lake Lure, or we can go to the whitewater center as we've done the last couple of years. But we're going to spend the first week getting to know everybody. So students feel, okay, I've made some friends. My anxiety is down. I know what this teacher is like. I've had fun here. We're going to make sure that they get a chance to relax. Uh, so we're going to start off with that retreat. We're also going to make sure that the teachers say, here are my office hours. Okay. And not only that, the students are going to be welcomed with a, a teacher that's excited to see them. Welcome. I'm excited. You're going to have a great year. This is going to be fun. High school is meant to be a fantastic time. That is going to be built into them. They're going to have that breathed into them by every single, every single teacher. We're also going to have peer tutoring. NHS has started a, a, a peer tutoring program uh, after school, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, depending on the semester or the week, but it's there for them. We've also got online portals for parents and students to look and say, okay, this is what I thought the homework was, or I, I left without writing it down. Oh no, what am I going to do? Wait a minute, it's online. I can just do that. And that's a, a fantastic resource. Uh, both of these speak to, again, an intentional culture of making sure we know who we are. We are a small Christ-centered school and Christ demands that we get to know one another and that we love on each other. Uh, last, what we've done is we also have a full-time chaplain and we have a, a part-time licensed therapist who are, who are available if someone needs to talk about things. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if you have not connected with a teacher, which we hope you can, if you've not connected with it with a coach, which we hope you can, if you still feel like you need to talk to someone, we have people who are, are standing by all the time ready for you. Uh, we surveyed the students to say, what are the needs? Not only do we read the national studies, the state studies, and, and we know what's going on, we ask the students themselves, tell us what what's that transition been like this year? And they let us know. Uh, they were very authentic. I mean, can you speak? You read the surveys. What yeah, were your thoughts on Yeah, I did those? read those surveys. And I love that we, first of all, that we asked our students that. Uh, it's very easy, I think, sometimes to get up in the theoretical realm of we think this would work, we think this would work. And while research-based um, policies are really, really important, it's also important, I believe, to, and I know we all believe that, to, to ask the students in front of us, mm -hmm. is what we are doing effective in your lives? And I love that they uh, were able to answer authentically and that we were able to make adjustments even in real time this year for this year's eighth graders going to next year and for incoming eighth graders uh, into ninth grade uh, next year. Ashley, I know you've talked with some upperclassmen as well about maybe 
their perspective, looking back in hindsight on their mm -hmm. freshman year, what have they said to you? Yes. So there's a common theme, right? There's a common theme of, I wish I would have known this when I was a ninth grader. And one of those things is that portfolio, the resume building. Uh, oftentimes, seniors are asked to remember four years worth of information to put on their college or scholarship applications or the internship or employment applications. And it's hard to remember four years worth of info. So one of my biggest pieces of advice is as I'm moving into high school, keep up with what you're accomplishing. One of our best resources we have is called Tallow. Uh, I'll introduce that at our rising ninth grade meetings. Uh, but find a place where you can keep up with what you're doing every single year so that by the time you're a senior, it's laid out all in front of you, right? Um, in addition, I highly recommend getting a planner. A lot of our students do use their mm -hmm. cell phones to keep up with what's going on, but I think a planner where students are writing down what they have to do on a daily basis um, is a really important skill. And I think that's something they can start this summer before they even begin mm -hmm. high school, right? Write down those vacations, write down those um, mm -hmm. job opportunities, just to get the hang of keeping that planner, take it to every class with you so that you can see what's going on on a daily basis because organization is key to being successful in high school as students are taking more ownership of their learning. Mm -hmm. right. And they, they, they mentioned that in the surveys, that if they felt anxiety when they knew what was due, what was when it was due, that lowered that anxiety. And so we're using those planners this year to try to help them uh, lower that anxiety. Mm -hmm. uh, and so again, I love that you also brought up as a small school, we can see what's working, what's not, and we can make adjustments mm -hmm. on the fly right then and there. We don't have to wait a long time. We don't have to go through a whole bunch of processes. Let's meet the student mm -hmm. needs right away. Mm -hmm. Right. And I, I want to emphasize too, students need to figure out what their best is and pursue that mm -hmm. excellently, right? But they don't need to waste time comparing themselves mm -hmm. to the next person nope. because mm -hmm. God has a unique plan for each person. Amen. The students need to figure out what's best for them and how they can be excellent and then pursue that wholeheartedly. And we're excited to do that with them. Again, you don't have to do anything alone. And as you transition from eighth to ninth, you will not be alone. Mm -hmm. We will do it with you and we're going to be there to support you. Mm -hmm. right. One last thing I'll throw in there that um, you reminded me of, Ashley, was something that you said. Uh, we, we also have a class specifically for freshmen that helps them practice some of those soft skills. Um, teachers are incorporating those things into their classes every day throughout the year. Mm -hmm. But for our freshmen, uh, this class specifically helps them to look at communication, uh, improving study skills, collaborating. What do you do on a group project when, when maybe you don't know the people that you're working with well, but you've got to create this finished product? How do you navigate through that? And this new curriculum that we're, we're putting in next year doesn't even ask them how to ask questions. Yes, yes. Ask questions uh, because we feel that for a student to be successful outside of the academic world, curiosity is key. And that mm -hmm. comes in the form of asking questions. How, how can I find out more information? Where can I get more information? What sources can I trust? Who can I trust? All of those things are really critical to their learning experience in high school. And once they do ask those questions and, and receive information, how do you communicate it or collaborate with others on it? How do you then create with it? Mm -hmm. uh, high school is a great time for them to practice that and we wanna provide those opportunities for them here. Right. I'm excited about that class. Me too. Well, thank you guys for joining us today. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Joe. We've got several opportunities here on your screen that you can see uh, for next steps, whether you're a prospective student or a current student, lots of resources available on our website as well as in-person meetings. Uh, and events. So please let us know how we can best support you and your student going into high school. Thanks again.